I'm Jenna from the IF team. My favorite applet is one that I made, which integrates a custom Siri phrase to turn off notifications on my phone while starting a rescue time focus session and putting a block on my calendar. Basically, it's my version of the Pomodoro technique, which allows you to focus and be very productive for 30 minutes before you take a break. This has been extremely helpful in my day-to-day. -day. My IFT calendar is full of focus time sessions and they are all using this applet. So let's dive in. This applet uses a webhook as a trigger, which is how we can use Siri to create a custom phrase and ultimately have that be what fires the applet. To do this, I followed the instructions on our help article that says how that gives you the step-by-step -step so you can run an IFT applet using Siri. At first, it seemed like it was going to be a lot of steps, but it ended up being extremely easy, and I'm gonna show you how to do just that. So if this, your trigger is going to be a webhook and it will be to receive a web request. Now here you put the name to be whatever you want. It's just very important that whatever name you use, you are consistent and you keep that spelling exactly. So here I'm going to say start session. The then that part, the action, is going to be a multi-action event. The first thing that we're going to do is use rescue time to start a focus time session. You can choose whatever duration you want. I'm going to choose 30 minutes. Additionally, I want to create a Google Calendar event that will be added to my calendar every time I do this. That way my teammates know that I'm doing a focus time session. So if I don't answer their message right away, that's why. So for this section of the applet, you're completely done. It was really that easy. Click continue and change it to whatever you'd like the name to be. Now that we have our applet in place, we need to set up the webhook using our shortcuts app on the iPhone. So to do this, I'm also going to use our iOS app for IFT. From there, you're going to open the webhook service page and open documentation. Now, this part, you don't want to show to anyone else because they can use the key and the information on this page to run applets on your account. So once you open this documentation, you will see your secret key. And the first thing you're going to do is copy that secret key and bring it over to the Shortcuts app. So to do this, you're gonna select Create New Shortcut, and the first thing you're going to do is search text. Paste in that secret key. The next item you're going to add is also text. And for this, you are going to add in whatever you called your webhook. So here, we call that start underscore session. The next thing that you're going to add is a URL. So search URL and then go back over to the IFT app and you will see there's a section that says to trigger an event. And in there, there are brackets that say event you are going to replace that with the same title that you gave your webhook. So again, for me, that looks like start underscore session. 
and select copy and bring that over to paste in your URL. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can also turn on that this will trigger the do not disturb mode on your iPhone. And that is just another way of eliminating distraction. Here you're going to click next and select the shortcut name. This is what you're going to use to tell Siri to run this event. So I'm going to call it start rescue time session. Click done and then you're good to go. So whenever you would like to start this event, all you're going to do is say, hey Siri, start rescue time session. Done. And now in a second, I will get a notification on my computer saying that my session has begun. Rescue time will start blocking all unproductive websites on my computer and there will be an event added to my calendar. I hope this is as helpful to you as it is to me. Let us know if you have any applets that help you stay productive during the day. And check out Drea's favorite applet when you have a chance.